Well, if it weren't for my old dogs and the good Lord, they'd have me strung up so in the side. A couple of guys board. asked me about uh, doing a little video on this new um, Amsteel whoopee sling I got in a couple of days ago. This is the first time I'm really using it um, uh, on my my saddle. This is XOP. I've got um, uh, just got in a buzzard roost. It's got a one hand a bridge made out of um a tuffle burger so it's this is basically the same thing this is just am steel it's a little bit lighter than the one that's on the buzzard roost um it attaches this one you can actually uh unhook uh using a carabiner which is nice if you uh don't want to haul one over your shoulder or something like this you're basically just putting a prusik on this it comes with a little link you can run a prusik and you're um putting the carabiner uh, through the opposite end of the uh, the sling itself. And then it's got a, um, uh, it's basically fed through the uh, through the, the sheathing on the uh, am steel that provides a, a way of, um, basically it's like a tender on the, uh, on the am steel itself. So works really well uh, for adjustment on these. Uh, one-handed as far as tightening it up all you're doing is just pulling on this take a little bit of pressure off which i'm gonna do here and pull up i can tighten that uh, that bridge up uh, if i want to do if i want to go down it's a little bit more a um, uh, little bit more involved because i have to lean forward and then i have to pull um, you're basically pulling this out so you're pulling the opposite side of the sling and that gives you, um, that, it, that extends the sling. So pull on this to uh, shorten it, pull, you basically stand up, uh, put tension off of it, get it where you want it, shorten it up. Same thing, but here you're pulling on this. So stand up to extend it, to lengthen the bridge uh, you do the same thing. You stand up, grab this with your right hand, this little berry right here this, uh, where the uh, am steel goes inside this sheath. Release a little bit of pressure off of it. Then you're pulling this opposite side with the other hand, with your left hand. So it's a two-hand operation as far as um, that goes. But a one hand as far as uh, shortening the bridge. Things like this that make it easier. It's really light. Uh, and really simple to operate. So that's what I'm looking at. Another, another thing people were asking about how I tie off my, uh, how I tie off my tether or my lifeline here. I just use a gear tie, nine eyes gear tie, one with a loop in it, loop it in right here, run it around the bottom where it just below the, the, uh, where the tether comes out from the, from the uh, loop, wrap it two or three times. It's not gonna move down, that, that snugs down to it. You're not gonna get that creep. You just have to make sure that when you come out of the tree, whenever you tie your, your Dynaglide to this to get it down, you make sure you undo these, because if you don't undo this, you're gonna have a hard time getting that out. You're gonna have to go back up and get it. So uh, I've done that a couple times and learned real quick to make sure uh, to come down before I come down to take this off. But a lot of people use those 3D printed ones and I've got a couple of them, but this here just, I'm, I'm used to doing it. So that's what I do. So appreciate it guys. Living in this new world is one too many days to me.